testing and simulating in the RTU 500 series in order to verify the configuration can be done in only a few steps. First of all, you need to make sure you are logged in as engineer. Then, you need to enable the signal test mode. Therefore, click on test and simulation, go to logging and debugging, and activate the signal test mode. The orange warning sign confirms that the test mode is now enabled. The LED on your CMU should now be blinking. To execute the actual simulation, go back to the test and simulation button. Choose input and output to test the I.O. signal. The signals need to be disconnected from the monitoring direction to simulate the indication and measurements. Click on Proceed and the simulation can start. On the right-hand side of the screen, the simulation buttons appear. You can either simulate specific signals by selecting the right signal here, or choose to test all the signals at once by choosing All. Click on any of the simulation buttons and you will be enabled to test all the signals together if all is selected. Click OK for multiple forcing. Simulation is finalized. To check the behavior of the signals in the hardware tree, go to Diagnostics, choose Hardware tree and choose the signal you want to verify. The red SEM in SIM indicates that the signal is in simulation mode. You can now check the required results on the right hand side of the screen. You can also simulate the commands. Therefore, go back to testing and simulation, input and output, and choose controlling and disconnect again. Again, you can either choose to simulate all the commands together by clicking All, or you select individual commands here. Following the IEC 6870 standard for commands, select Activate as cause of transmission, Choose between direct execution, the cause indicates activation termination, and confirm the simulation. Or you can choose the select before confirmation. Therefore, you get an activation confirmation. Go back to act activation before you can finally execute. Again, Activation termination confirms the simulation. Done. Don't forget to reconnect your process after simulation is finalized. And don't forget to leave the testing and simulation mode by clicking on testing and simulation, logging and debugging, and deactivate the signal test mode.